Something just happened that has not occurred in nearly 50 years. It is a fascinating event, an incredible event, something we haven't seen in the United States National Park since 1976. But here we are with a captivating new discovery. Now, if you're thinking, wow, what could this be? Maybe a new species of dinosaur was found fossilized in perfect condition. Perhaps geologists discovered an underground cave system filled with glowing crystals. Or maybe, just maybe, scientists finally found proof that Bigfoot is real. The answer is no, no, and no, and in fact it is even better because we have discovered a new plant genus. Okay, it's actually kind of cool and hear me out here. Botanists have just identified an entirely new branch on the plant family tree right in Big Bend National Park. And while this plant might not have giant teeth or mythical origins, it is shaking up the world of science in a way that hasn't happened in decades. So let's talk about Avicula buridieta, or as it's more commonly known, the woolly devil, the tiny desert plant that just made history. Let's start with the story of how this discovery was made. Picture this. You are hiking through a Texas desert dodging cacti, probably sweating buckets, when you stumble upon a tiny plant that looks like it came straight out of a Dr. Seuss book. That's pretty much what happened in March of 2024 when Deb Manley, a volunteer at the park, spotted an unusual flower and decided to snap a photo and post it online. Instead of the post just racking up some likes and interest, it ended up catching the attention of actual botanists. Turns out this little plant she had found was unique, and in fact it was so unique that it didn't fit into any currently known plant genus, and as we would later find, it had some pretty amazing and rare properties to it. Now, finding something like this in a national park has been really rare over the last several decades. The last time something like this happened was in 1976, when somebody found a new shrub genus in Death Valley. All right, so at this point you might be thinking, cool, a new plant, but why is this such a big deal? Well, let me tell you. Here's the thing, scientists discover new species pretty much all the time, but finding a new genus is on a whole nother level, literally. A species is the most specific classification in biology. It refers to a group of organisms that can interbreed and produce fertile offspring. A genus, on the other hand, is one level above species and groups together multiple species that share common characteristics and evolutionary history. Finding a new species usually means that scientists have discovered a variation of something we already recognize like a slightly different kind of orchid or a new type of beetle. But finding a new genus means that the plant is so unique it doesn't fit into an existing category already. In other words, it's not just a new species, it is an entirely new evolutionary lineage that changes how we understand biodiversity. But that being said, the plant itself is actually pretty cool. So let's talk about that. Avicula buridieta, better known as the woolly devil, is a tiny plant, barely one to three inches across, with white fuzzy hairs covering its leaves and striking red and white flowers that resemble, you guessed it, devil horns. And because scientists love giving things fancy names that also make sense, avicula means little sheep, which is a nod to its woolly appearance and the big horn sheep of Big Bend, while buridieta refers to its two ray florets. So far, researchers have only found the woolly devil in three locations within Big Bend, and that makes it one of the most elusive plants in the United States. We know that it thrives in rocky, dry soil where most plants would give up and call it a day. This makes it a bit of an underdog in the plant world and just adds to its uniqueness. Woolly devils are most closely related to sunflowers, but they certainly look nothing like them. Instead, it looks like something that could belong in a different universe, and it has one specific, really interesting property to it. Finding the woolly devil wasn't just rare, it was incredibly lucky. This plant is an ephemeral species, meaning it has an extremely short life and only emerges under specific conditions. It spends most of its time as a dormant seed, waiting for just the right moment, which is typically after a rare desert rainfall, before it sprouts, blooms, and completes its life cycle in a matter of weeks. 
If Deb had hiked the trail a few weeks or even months earlier and later, she probably wouldn't have found the plant and we would still not even know that it existed today. But it might not even stop there because now we're looking at the plant to see if we can find some other uses for it too. As if becoming the pioneer of its very own genus wasn't cool enough, scientists are now investigating the woolly devil to see if it has medicinal properties to it. Apparently, this plant's glandular structures are similar to those in other members of the sunflower family that produce compounds with anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory properties. So not only is this plant a rare find, but it could even end up being scientifically valuable in ways we don't understand yet. Now, it is important to note that these are just preliminary findings, and so they are no way set in stone. But regardless, us investigating it does highlight the importance of preserving plant diversity because it shows us that you never know when an unlikely plant could be hiding an incredible and useful property. So there you have it, the woolly devil, the tiny plant that just expanded our knowledge of our world. It's fuzzy, it's mysterious, and it proves that even in well-explored places like national parks, we still have a whole lot to uncover and find. And quite honestly, if this plant can survive in a hostile desert like this, maybe we can all take a lesson from its resilience. If you like this video, you also might like one of these two popped up here. And if you really liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can keep learning about nature and science. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.